we're at sea again today. This is where we are at first thing in the morning, and by the end of the day, we'll have passed the boot of Sicily and be on our way to Heraklion. Breakfast this morning consisted of kippers, which were very nice, and Joe had avocado on toast. Walking around, pictures of the entertainers, all these are the dancers and singers who are involved in the shows. And here they are making their own selfie. And tonight it's Sophie Tarani singing for us. We're all ready for dinner. This is last night. I'm recording this today, which is Thursday. This was Wednesday. And it was a masked ball, which they do regular on the Cunard liners. For dinner, I had the cold poached smoked salmon. And for main course, it was surf and turf, filet mignon and good big prawns. And lovely lemon souffle. Here's one of our lovely regular waiters who's mm. making a little hole in the top of the souffle to pour in the lemoncello sauce just to finish it off nicely. Thank you. Just relaxing in the lobby and a few people are wandering about with the masks on having their photograph taken by one of the professional photographers. There's about seven on the, uh, on the ship always around taking pictures that get your room number and it's all computerized so you can uh, pick them up at any time if you so wish you don't have to have the photographs but they take some good shots and a lot of attention to detail they carefully arrange their customers move the hands the feet move the head backwards forwards to the side so we retired for the night and get ready for the following day which was a bad start because they had no hot water so i braved a cold shower which i believe has done me really good i think it was uh, quite blustery on the front of the ship apart from the wind tomorrow the weather tomorrow in Harapion is for a mainly sunny outlook with temperatures reaching a high of 17 celsius which is 63 degrees Fahrenheit and all on board time tomorrow is 17.30, 5.30 p.m. all on board after which we'll sail for Port Said and the Suez Canal. So in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the navigational brief for today and I'm for my usual noon time nautical anecdote. And today is the origin of the expression hanky panky, which is a semi light hearted expression often used to describe inappropriate behavior, especially involving someone of the opposite sex. Now a century or two ago, hanky panky was the name given to a mixture of brandy and ginger. At the time, rather potent and popular refreshment particularly among the high-ranking seagoing gentry. Having consumed several of these cocktails, perhaps at the house of some foreign dignitary, it was not unheard of for the occasional admiral to make amorous advances towards one of the guests, perhaps even the hostess. So a common means of restoring good behaviour was to stop the offenders hanky-panky. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, may I wish you a wonderful afternoon as you brought me down to, and I look forward to meeting you around the ship. Wishing you all a wonderful afternoon. Captain. I'm sure I've already mentioned the Churchill Cigar Lounge. However, there's a few of the Commodores that have been in charge of the Queen Mary over the years. And they all have a cocktail associated with them, which are all quite nice. I've tried a few. Keep working on them till I get to the last one and then I can make my judgment to give you a recommendation of the best Commodore cocktail that there is. This 
is taken off the menu gives you an idea of the price it's about ten dollars on average for the cocktails which isn't too bad really passing through the grand lobby again and they have a Yamaha piano and when there's no pianist it plays itself Laurent Perrier Champagne Bar. We made our way into the Sir Samuels, which is the chocolate bar, Cadiva chocolates, as in Lady Cadiva. These are some nice pastries. Went to the 18th of January now, and we made our way down for our evening meal. Started with the toy fish cakes and a wild mushroom tart starter. And for my course, I had the hake pan fried. Joe had a lemon meringue tart, and I had an apricot and apple tart. We had a little look in the Corinthian lounge where they uh, serve a variety of ports from Portugal. And we're going to Portugal with some friends on the 28th of October this year. So interesting to get some knowledge in advance. They have some fantastic vintage ones, extremely expensive. The only person I know would buy these is Stephen Williams, my good friend and wine merchant. Give you a little bit of etiquette, how to pour the uh, port and they also have some sensibly priced ones at seven nine and ten dollars a glass we went to see this evening's show with the comedian again that's the end of another day and then tomorrow we get off the ship and arrive in the port of heraklion which is in greece we arrive at eight o'clock we have to leave for 5.30.